your shot. As followers of modern day pop culture, we like to associate ourselves with characters we live and grow up with. Characters like Akuma take great interest in Street Fighter players, based on his strength and pure sheer awesomeness. Ryu and Ken are also looked upon, based on their power moves and techniques. And then there's Dan. This character is one that has nothing of what was mentioned before. But we love him for that same reason. Dan may be considered a joke for many, but this episode will give you an insight that might change your perception of the Psyche or Ryo style master himself. Welcome to the Street Fighterverse. At first sight, he might look like the cheap knockoff of characters like Ryo and Ken. You might say he can be the total opposite of Akuma. He lacks power in his moves, comparing his style with the likes of his counterparts. His most devastating move is only a radical flashy taunt, and his Gadoken, even though it has improved over the years, still lacks any substance compared to other fighters like Ryo or Ken. You may say he sounds awful, but in reality, he is one of the most fun playable characters in the Street Fighter universe. Dan puts a fun silly spin to the franchise, and we really love him for that. Sure, Dan might not be as fast and efficient as defeating Bison like other characters, but for what he lacks, he makes up with his overconfident, unbreakable spirit. Dan's personality can be described as being his own worst enemy. He is the type of fighter who won't back down from any fight, either due to his arrogance or just sheer stupidity. His bloated ego makes him see himself as one of the best fighters in the world, despite having one of the worst records of losses of any character. He might be seen as an arrogant and cocky guy, but he is a thoughtful and understanding character. Dan sees himself as a fatherly figure and mentor to his friend Sakura, constantly advising her on fighting techniques. Though Sakura does not take his expertise seriously, seeing him simply as a humorous and fun guy to be with. This coming from the Street Fighter Pocket Fighter series. He also tends to lecture Blanca, his other friend, about real manhood and the cycle arts, much to Blanca's bemusement. Both are close friends, strangely enough. Dan has a deep dislike of Ryu and Ken, mostly on the grounds of them being the more revered fighters, and Ken's ladies' man persona. He has also been shown to be quite unpopular with the other characters, usually because they tend to have little patience for his antics. Even though he deeply dislikes Ryu and Ken, Dan has a similar traditional style of karate gi. Dan's pink karate gi is based off Ryo's Sakazaki's orange attire, while his hairstyle and facial features is based off Robert Garcia. His taunts are similar to Yuri Sakazaki, all three characters from the SNK game called The Art of Fighting. Ryo had a very similar appearance, fighting style and name to Ryu, and had the same hair color as Ken. Dan's fighting style, the Saikyo Ryo, is a parody of the Kokyorenkyo Karate, the fighting style used by Ryo and Robert. In humorous retaliation, Capcom included Dan as a secret character in the Street Fighter Alpha, and many of his characteristics in the series and later appearances were developed to reflect those of certain other SNK characters. Dan was born on November 25. Dan's father, Go, was a mixed martial artist and rival of Sagat. Go gouged out Sagat's right eye, and Sagat beat him to death in retaliation. Because of this, Dan sought revenge on Sagat, training to become a fighter, but was expelled from Gokin's dojo when his motivations were learned. You can see a little more information about this on our other episode explaining who took Sagat's eye. I'll leave you a link on the description down below. Dan thus developed his own style of Gokin's martial art, merged with Muay Thai elements, and called it the Saikyo Ryo, or strongest style, despite the complete weakness of his techniques. He set on a quest to find Sagat and take vengeance for his father's death. Dan encounters Sagat. After their fight, Dan wins. Although he does not know Sagat let him win, realizing how anger makes people do things they will regret. Satisfied that he finally avenged his father's death, Dan returns to Hong Kong and sets up his Saikyo Ryu Dojo. Dan has many qualities that make him an awesome character to play with. 
Dan's arts have a hint of comedic tone to his style of play, which makes him a fun around character to play with. I personally think if your style of fighting is focused on annoying and humiliating, your opponent Dan in this era would have a lot to offer. Dan is known to use his cycle style of fighting, a style of fighting that he created by mixing his famous colorful taunts, his father's techniques, and Anatsuken arts, all his short training with Master Goken. The strategy behind his fighting style is by using multiple provocations to show off. Dan can manipulate opponents to break their pace and lower their guard, giving him the opportunity to land powerful attacks. Dan appears to be a jack of all trades, with knowledge in multiple fields, but the lack of specialization, other than his taunts, and his overconfidence makes him weak compared to other fighters such as Ryu, Ken, and Sakura. Due to his somewhat clumsy, slow, and short moves, Dan is widely regarded as a joke character, not recommended to be used for any serious competition, as his weakness makes winning matches more difficult and exciting when against notably powerful characters such as Ryu, Ken, and Charlie. As such, selecting Dan can be seen as a taunt, since doing so implies high confidence that a player is superior in skill to his or her opponent. Strangely enough, the sheer comedy value made Dan a campy fan favorite. Dan is distinguished from Ryo and Ken by his ineffective special moves, such as Gadoken or Self-Taught Fist, a projectile with a comically short range, and Dankuyaku, a triple-hitting flying kick. Dan also possesses Goryuken, an anti-air uppercut, initially different but eventually mimicking Ryu and Ken's Shoryuken. Dan has a move known as the Heisha Buraiken, which is a standing parody of Ryu's flying desperation move, the Ryuko Rambu. Despite being the lowest tier amongst the main characters, Dan is still an above average martial artist when compared to typical fighters. A fun fact of Dan, his name is a Japanese mark of level, which is used in traditional fine arts and martial arts. His last name, Hibiki, means echo in Japanese, which is a pun on him being the echo of Ryu and Ken. It is possible that Sakura based her focus attack on Dan LK's Dan Kukiaku. It can be known that Dan Hibiki will forever be Street Fighter's punchline joke, but a joke that we hope continues for many years to come. What are your thoughts on Dan Hibiki? Let us know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on new theories and info. Thank you for watching. This has been your Street Fighter host. Welcome to the center stage, our new Discord server. There you can talk with us, chat about current events going on in Street Fighter, information, theories, and lore. We'll leave the link in the description box below. We want to thank everyone for tuning in and becoming part of the Street Fighter community. We want to thank you for your positive comments towards our channel because it only habilitates us to grow even more. From the Street Fighterverse crew, we thank you.